Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Chris Cooper, known as a Channel Guy Trader, and I'm reporting to you live from Wall Street Trading Satellite Office down in sunny South Florida. Today's date is Wednesday, March the 27th, 2013, and here is today's midday market update brought to you by WallStreetTrading.com. Want to first off by taking a look to see how the indices are trading here this afternoon. We had the Dow Jones currently down about 50 points or so. The Comp Q's down about 8 points. The Russell 2000's down a little over 3 points. S&P's down about 5 points. If we take a look at the commodity space here, uh, USO's down 5 cents. GLD's up 68 cents. The miners are up today. They're up 36 cents on the GDX. JJC Copper's down 13 cents. Silver's pretty much flat, down 7 cents. Take a look at the currencies here. FXE is down 89 cents. UUP is up 11 cents. So we have a weak euro, a strong dollar today. And the volatility index, the VIX, is up 50 cents. All right, financials, XLF is down 30 cents, uh, 13 cents. The XOI, the oil index, is down 3.5. Um, top sectors, ETFs on the top, uh, ETF sectors on the board right now is the XLE. Uh, well, first of, all, well, first of all, you have the GLD. You have the TNA, the GDX, the XLE, TLT, IYT, SMH are near the top of the list. Bottom of the list, you have the VXX, TZA, XLP, FXI. So, <laughs> seeing a lot of these uh, ETFs at the bottom of the list that usually go up when the market goes uh, down, they're near the bottom of the list because obviously the markets uh, had a nice little move up, but now the market's paying off to the downside. So, let's go ahead and explain what we were looking at today going to the morning session here. We uh, Told our traders to watch this 154748 level to act as support. Why? Because overnight here, as you can see, uh, overnight on um, on Tuesday, or I should say, yeah, Monday night, Tuesday pre-market session or whatever you want to call it, we had some nice little support building around this 1548 level. All right, so 1548 was the level that we're watching. If I zoom back in here now on the 15-minute chart. You can see we were trying to break below 1548. We never were able to get those confirmation closes, so then we started chopping around. 1547 started holding that support, and then we bounced right off of that level here. All right, then our next target we had was 1555 to the top side, actually 1552, then 1555. 1555 was a key level to watch from yesterday. As you guys know, yesterday that was a level of resistance until we tried to, until we actually broke above that level there around uh, 3 o'clock going into the close alright then drag the screen over here now on the 5 minute chart of the ES you can see we broke right back below that level of 1555 at 6 o'clock this morning and that was going to be the key level to watch going to today's session and now you can see that was a target that we hit 1555 and now we're rolling back off of that target making our way back towards previous day's lows which happens to be around 1550.25 on the ES the opening price for, for today's session on the ES is around 1548 which, we, which will be the next target if we were to break below 1550 what you can see here is at the same time as we were trading this nice little range between 1553 and 1555 that's where the consolidation chopping around the pivot for today on the E-minis which is around 1554.33 so again, as long as we can hold below 1553, expect for that selling pressure to come in. Even if we hold below 1554, that's still pretty decent if you're looking to make a little, nice little cash flow trade back to the downside off of this little pop that we had uh, in the morning session. And the only reason why we got that pop, I would say, was because we sold off a lot overnight. We were down 10 points off of the overnight session highs there. So it really made sense to wait for the market to rally up to short it. Or at least attempt to short it aside from trying to get short right here early in the morning and then getting you know wiped out from this big up move as we were already oversold and there's still some dip buyers in this market. All right, I mean, we did try a little bit of the VXX on the open, it, it popped up a bit and then it rolled right back over and stopped us out for like minus 15 cents since we were using the uh, first five minute bar low as a stop, and you know, that's why we kept it tight. But now <coughs> the market was being led up this morning by the uh, Russell 2000, then the NASDAQ, and then the S&P 500, all right, and Ru Russell 2000 is actually, sorry about that, NASDAQ futures is actually the strongest one because they actually broke above the previous day's low and then tried to break back above the previous day's highs but then was not able to make it, followed by the ES which was able to get back above the previous day's opening price and the previous day's lows, and then the Russell 2000. But in any case, here, let's go ahead and take a look at the ETFs here to see how the ETFs are trading this morning as far as the triple Qs and the SPY goes. Let me go ahead and expand this chart so you guys can see it better. 
right, five 15 minute chart of the SPY. You can see we gapped down here, made a low of 155. That key 155, 20, 155, 30 level that I was showing you guys on the uh, in the weekend review videos and the daily and the daily videos here. You can see once we got back above that 155, 30 level, buyers step right back in. They rolled those all the way back up for some gap fill action. We didn't fill the complete gap, which is right here at 156, 14 of the SPY, and then we started rolling right back over. So we do have some little short term resistance around this 155, 90 area or so. All right, now 155.60 is going to be the level to watch as well. We break back below 155.60, look for a move back down towards 155.42, previous day's lows, and then 155.30 area or so, which happens to be around the opening price, which is uh, 155.26 on the SPY. All right, if we take a look next at the triple Qs, triple Qs gap down to that 68.25 level. Remember, 68 is a key level to watch on the uh, triple Qs, 68, 10, 68, 20, 30 area. So we opened up at 68.25, did a little shake and bake action, got bought up, uh, triple Qs filled the gap, and then they rolled right back over. Uh, keep it on the 68.44 level, which happens to be previous day's lows. If we break back below that, we could go back towards the opening price. If we take out today's highs, yesterday's highs comes in around 68.73. I'm not sure if we're going to do that because I don't see anything that's really standing out there to push us up, but uh, we'll have to keep an eye on that. Uh, taking a look at the IWM here, IWM gap down, a little three bar pullback on the 15 minute chart, got bought up, filled some of the gap or most of the gap, and then pulled right back in. So some little short rally action where they rally the markets up in the morning session and they uh, started pulling the markets back around 11.45, which is the game plan that we told our traders to watch for this morning in the MyWallStreetTV.com trading room, which you're more than welcome to come check it out. All you have to do is go to WallStreetTrading.com and fill out the form on the right-hand side. So let's go ahead and talk about some stocks that we were watching this morning. We caught a nice trade in the VMW, which you can see that uh, trade, and we can see how we traded it by uh, the chart that we posted on the Facebook page. And I also posted it on my uh, website, uh, Wall Street. I'm sorry, I also posted it on my website, ChannelGuyTrader.com. So anyways, VMW got upgraded this morning. We were looking at this thing for a buy. All right, we actually were able to get long the VMW trade right when it broke out over the 77.30 level here, which happens to be right, one second, which happens to be right here. All right, broke right back up the previous day's highs and had a nice little move and then gave you a nice little consolidation and moved higher. Now, I sold my last bit. We got everybody involved in the chat room at 77.30. I sold my last piece at 78.02, and now it's at 79. So I guess that's why you have to trail your stops and hold on to your winners. But in any case, nice trade in BMW. Um, if we talk about some strong stocks today. Visa, this stock's up $2.52 from the opening price, continues to move higher. If you guys recall in my weekend review video, in my daily video when I was talking about the Visa trade, I gave you guys a price target of 170 and that trade has, you know, we called it out for a buy on Monday, and uh, that stock has been rallying up ever since. Monday it opened up at this, uh, what low did it open up on Monday here? Monday it opened up near like 160.75, and now it's at 169.11. You know, making a nice little three-day move here with these options, call options being up well over 100%, probably in the tune of uh, 500% now, which is pretty good if you uh, were able to catch those options on that trade. Uh, what else here? Goldman Sachs today is one of the stronger banks out there. Goldman Sachs is up $1.51 from the open. Take off this pre-market information here. Extended session. So Goldman Sachs, 15-minute chart. You can see this one made a nice move up. Let me bring up the five-minute chart here real quick. Sorry about that. All right. So Goldman Sachs, nice little move off the open. Again, this was one of the stronger banks from the get-go. So you can see this one's pulling back right now. Uh, you can watch it in the afternoon. I would say if it can hold above this 147.40 level and build a higher base, it can maybe try to make a move back up towards the highs. But some of the other banks are weak. Like if we take a look at J.P. Morgan, J.P. Morgan's on the bottom of the list for the week stocks today here down 61 cents from the opening price all right currently trading down about uh, 97 cents down uh, close to two percent here trying to get it bounced right here off this 4760 level but just know it's one of the weaker weaker banks out there let me take a look at Citigroup I was not able to take a look at Citigroup earlier let's see what Citigroup is doing uh, yeah Citigroup's chopping around this one's not really breaking down or breaking out just pretty much trading sideways to lower uh, again some more strong stocks out there you could take a look at is LinkedIn LinkedIn's up near the top of the change from open list here, up $2.13 from the open. 
Had a nice little move out the gate, out the gate, pulled back, the shot back up to highs. Another strong stock out there is uh, Amazon. Amazon up six dollars and six dollars from the opening price. We mentioned Amazon in last night's video. Uh, mentioned the fact that we should keep it on watch for another continuation move to the top side after having a pause day on Monday, uh, up move yesterday, and now today it's continuing higher. Uh, this one looks like it wants to go back up there towards the 270. So aside from that, folks, hope you guys are having a great trading day this morning. Make sure you come check out our website, wallstreettrading.com. If you're interested in trading with our firm and like to find out the uh, rates and the different benefits that you can get trading with us, send me an email at ccooper at wallstreettrading.com. Have a great day, folks. Catch you guys after the close for the After the Bell Market Summary. Cheers.